All right, Jay's here. Um, we got this little promotion going on here from Isis, um, where you can win a Isis license for free. World Backup Day. You download the Isis uh, Backup and Solution, record a video of your backup, and then you share it and get a lifetime upgrade for free. Uh, up, a lifetime upgrade license, rather. And uh, so we're going to give it a shot here. I'm going, I'm, I'm at. Uh, step two here so go ahead we're gonna minimize the browser and we got it all installed and set up here I need to make sure that uh, I've been using Macrium reflect here and for many years and I'm gonna see with Macrium reflect no longer being free um, I wanted to check out how well Isis works here so we're gonna go ahead and create a backup right now let's go right through this uh, tutorial I'm gonna select my disk It'll be, uh, let me make sure I'm selecting the right one. Yep, it'll be the first disk. That's my first, that's my Windows M2. So go ahead and clone and image that one. The destination. Um, that's my USB drive. It's kind of on a, it's a, it's a nice drive and all, but I'm going to put this on a different drive. I'm going to put this on my second m2 drive if i can hold up no there it is the d drive that's my second m2 drive that way i can measure the clone speed and everything because that's where i have my uh that's where i have my other backups i want to make sure and yeah, deal work. Yeah, that'll be plenty of space. Let me double check that. Yeah, that's plenty. So I'm gonna uh, give this a whirl. This is only um, I only have like 64 gig of uh, data on my primary Windows drive, and so it'll should it should back up fairly quickly. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. As I said, I've been using Macrium Reflect for many, many years. Um, so what I want to try to do is I'm going to give this a whirl because I might have to have a, I might uh, need a replacement for Macrium Reflect, and uh, I'll take I'll take a free license if this works pretty well. So there we go. Win-win situation. Let's see. Let's look at the look at the uh, time here. Oh yeah, backing up at four seven four hundred eighty five megabytes a second, about three minutes, and that's about the same speed Macrium would go. Oh my goodness, five hundred megabytes a second. Well, it's beating Macrium right now in the speed department, and this is the free version. Wow. That's more recent, but I wonder if it's able to park short, for example. Uh, I mean, I guess there's only one way to find out. It's going at a decent clip here. Short Not bad. If it can back up this fast, it'll probably back up. Uh, it'll probably restore back up in about seven minutes, between four and seven okay. minutes. That, that's pretty much what Macrium does, too. Which is a real lifesaver, because... One of the things I don't like to do after I reinstall Windows clean is I don't like to sit here for hours and hours, sometimes up to 8 to 12 hours, as Windows Update has to download and install uh, updates that have to be installed first before other updates will show up. And it just, it const it's just constantly updating. So what I would rather do is after I get all the updates downloaded after a fresh install, use a backup tool, make an image of your drive, and uh, that way uh, if you ever need to reinstall Windows real quick, you can be up and running with all your updates in about four minutes. And it looks like this is done. Yeah, not bad at all. 
let's see we got a we got something in the corner here oh it disappeared oh well I guess it's done huh okay uh, I don't I don't need to schedule backups on this system I just need to do uh, you know one and done let's double check and see if it's saved to my I don't see it saved anywhere well this zero there it is <laughs> okay that'll work I made a folder okay so yeah it worked uh, pretty well um, and I guess if we wanted to recover and uh, restore the image, we just click the browse to recover, and uh, we'll be we'll probably go from there. Um, I need to go back to the main screen if I can. Because oh, we're here tools. There's one thing I need to do is click that create emergency disk. Boot location. I want to use an ISO if possible here. Ah, oh, right here, ISDO. Okay, it wants to put it in C drive. No, we're not going to put it in C drive. We're going to put that on the F drive. And we're going to stick it to where I have my other uh, my other my um Macrium uh, backup image at the BN tree. I've got so many I got so many folders to juggle here. Uh, where are we at here? System utilities and deployment. There we are. Oh, wait a minute. I know where it is. I know where I got to stick this. I got to put this in Windows ISOs. There's my Macrium backup. So we'll we'll just stick it there. Emergency disk. We're gonna call it. Uh, ease us. Erd. There. Yeah, that'll work. And we're going to go ahead and... I don't think I have to add any drivers, but let me... Nope, you got you have to have the paid version, so we'll just go with that. When those PE created with free version does not support clone and system transfer, <laughs> got to upgrade. Okay, well then, yeah. That's that. Well, for the backup process, it looks like it worked pretty well. And it worked pretty decently and worked pretty fast. Um, uh, but the thing is, um, when it comes to recovery, I've, I've been I've been using Macrium Reflect Free version for many years, and it's, it's served me very well. So uh, yeah, this done this uh, does the job. It does the, it does the backup. Uh, let me look at the. Uh, I wonder how much space it used, because this is my Macrium. Uh, image. Let me go ahead and right click and show the properties of that. It is used 30, 30 gig. And that backup was made uh, March 4th. So only a couple, uh, 20 days ago. 20 days ago, 30 gig file. How big is that one? That's a 33 gig file. It looks like same, so same, same footprint. It doesn't, uh, it uses uh, 32.3 gigs, so yeah. It, uh, it uses an equal amount of space between the two programs, so that's pretty good too. But anyway, let's, uh, let's end this video here. That's how, that's how easy and quick it is to do with the easiest to do backup, 2023. <sighs> yeah, not too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the flip side.